Hello soldiers, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Petrets module 1 that is Python for data science and the assignment number 10 and the topic is introduction to NumPy. Huh. So first I'm going to import NumPy as you can see and the problem one statement is construct a two dimensional 10 by 10 matrix with the following constraints. The element at 0, 0, should be 1. The element at 0, 0,9 should be 100. The element at 9, 0 should be 50. The interval between elements in rows should be constant. Right? The interval between elements in columns should be constant. So I'll just show you our output. Here you can see the first element is 1 at position 0, 0. At 0, 0,9 it should be 100. We got that value also. At 9, 0, it should be 50. We got that also. So interval between elements in rows should be constant. So in rows it should be constant. So here you can see the difference and the difference. You can just count the difference. It would be same. Okay. Interval between elements in columns should be constant here also you can see in the difference 1 and 6 6 and 11 it would be same right so for this purpose what we are going to use we are going to use line space 1 uh, this is a numpy function which we'll use with the numpy so to know more about this line space can just you you can just google it you will be getting this geeks for geeks fun numpy dot line space in python the numpy dot line space function returns the number spaces evenly with respect to interval similar to numpy dot arrange function but instead of step it uses sample number so in this example you can see here we are having one example uh, yeah so starting number this is a starting number here this is a ending and samples to generate is 10 so now you understood right the first one is starting one and the second one is ending one and the last one is samples to generate here they also gave us some example so in between 0 to 2 we have to generate 10 samples so here what we are doing in between 1 to 50 we have to generate 10 samples here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 samples right mm, here also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 samples right so this is what line space we are using then i am just creating an empty list then for step in rows so here what i am doing i am just using append one then again line space here i am just giving the step then step into 100 comma 10 end point equals to true so what this function is doing we, we, you can see what we got the value so this is all done by this function if you are going to blame anyone just blame this function just blame this for loop okay for loop not function okay remember that then array equals to np dot array of list so we are just printing that list as a array so these are all lists right in this array so now we are moving to problem 2 so if you get any doubt about this thing just google it uh, you will get plenty of examples okay problem 2 construct a two dimensional 10 by 10 matrix with the diagonal elements equal to 0 and all the other elements equals to 1 so here you can see what we are going to do so here we are having np.1's 
in our numpy right so what it does here you can just see this thing will be coming right so it will generate it will generate the matrix with all ones so what we are going to do i'm just going to specify 10 rows and 10 columns i want all ones then i'm using for loop for i in range length of x this is a length of x then again i am using for loop for j in range length of x of i so first we are going to take one one row then after using this again for loop we are going through the elements in that row so that's what you have to think then if i equals to j x of i comma j equals to 0 print x so here we are using nest for loops i'm just going to run this you can see so diagonal elements equals to 0 all the other equal elements equals to 1 so here you can see diagonal elements are 0 rest are 1 problem 3 construct a list of first 100 natural numbers create two dimensional array with 10 rows and whose each row constrains 10 columns and each number in this array is a say is a square of the number from your constructed list for example 1 comma 4 comma 9 up to 700 121 144 like that 1 square 2 square 3 square 4 square like that 10 square 100 like that we have to generate right size equals to 100 l equals to num into num square for here you can see the here we are using for loop for num in range 1 comma size plus 1 comma 1 here num square so size is 100 right size plus 1 we are using just do understand this thing a equals to np dot as array of l so l is a this thing a dot shape equals to 10 comma 10 then print a so we are just giving that we want 10 rows and 10 columns here a dot shape means here as array so we are converting it as an array then we are converting it into a 10 cross 10 matrix okay the main logic lies here only so here we are just using for loop for num in range 1 comma size plus 1 comma 1 then we are just using num square so i'm just going to run this thing so basically we will call this as list comprehension yeah problem 4 you are given an image below experiment with the numpy slice operation to only get the face of the person in the image so here we are just importing scikit sk image so sk means scikit-learn image okay or uh, sk short form okay sk image import data so we'll be having scikit-learn that will be using for machine learning okay but here we are just using sk image so i just imported this thing then camera dot shape camera so what we are going to do we are just going to do experiment with this thing we got this thing this image let's see what we have to do we are just have to zoom a little bit so here we are just applying slicing operation on this image so 
you can just adjust these numbers mm, let's see let's run this thing like that you can mm, let's crop it a bit so we are just applying the slicing operation on this image okay you can just play with this thing okay uh, to understand more about numpy you can watch my uh, tutorials on numpy you can just get that playlist uh, okay there i uploaded all numpy tutorials you can just go through them to get brief understanding above numpy and that's it for now meet you next video till then bye bye meet you next video don't forget to hit the subscribe button goodbye